I want to empower someone and I want to get them feeling like I can do this too. Like looking at you, I feel like I could sit in your chair. I would never want to sit in your chair. I want to sit in my own chair. Yeah. But I mean, like you give me inspiration to do more. That's why I'm sitting here with you. Sure. Um, but I want to be that role model for other, other female entrepreneurs as well. The give back team, the colors, it's blue and green. Nice. But my personal color is hot pink. Like I'm a, I wear pink. Yeah. Pink and sparkles. That's cool. my thing. So it's good for social. I, it's it pops. It definitely pops. But so my struggle is the team branding. Yep. Versus the G branding. How so, long have you had the blue green logo? Since I launched three years ago. Thanks. And how long have you been um, wearing pink and sparkles your whole life? My whole life. Yeah. I'm pink and sparkly. That's my thing. My mom died of ovarian cancer when I was in my 20s. Sorry. Thank you. Um, it's because of her that I do all that I do from sure. a giving back. The blue is her color. That was her color. And okay. the green is for new beginnings. Okay. And so that's why the blue and the green became the logo. And the pink is just, you know, that's me. Listen, you like, you don't have to look like your logo colors. I mean, I, I don't walk around wearing blue all day. Right. You know, I, would, I didn't walk around ever wearing yellow when our logo color was yellow. And before that, when it was purple, <laughs> um, I did have a purple Vespa. And that's how I got around the city. So that's I didn't cool. have to take the subway. Um, not that it helped me at all in business. And I don't think anyone actually paid attention to that. But in my head, you know, it made sense. For me, I lean into the women empowerment side of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's kind of where I come from in my heart. Giving back is is also where I come from in my heart, and that's the team part of things. I think you're overthinking it. You do? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at my life. Like, I I, I don't even know, like, yes, I have a personal brand, um, it's important, but like, we are charitable, but we also sell $170 million apartments to Saudi Royals, right? Um, we do towers, but we also do $400,000 apartments, right? I run this company, but I'm also boutique and want to keep the exclusive feel. You know, it's brokerage, but we also do training. We train agents all over the place who sell the smallest of the small to the biggest of the biggest. Am I a mentor? Am I a coach? Am I a broker? What am I doing? Am I, actually, am I just a reality TV guy? Am I a YouTuber? Like, you know, it's, there's a lot, you know, and it's all over the place, the books, the things, you know, all the stuff. Kind of in the same way, like, you are a celebrity by definition in your own right, in your marketplace, and you get to do lots of different things in support of Hot Pink You and Blue Green Give Back Team. Um, and I think that's totally okay. As long as the mission statement and the values can be segmented to be what you and the team believe in, mm -hmm. I think you're good and then you are the hot pink face of a blue green brand you are a personality mm -hmm. you're a personal brand and you are going to grow your own personal brand to benefit the brand of the team you are in support of the team and the team is your machine mm -hmm. but the land that you both stand on is you it's hot pink it's personal brand is you the team is a tower built on that land mm -hmm. Everything else you do are then houses built on that land. Your personal brand is the land.